Florida just trying to avoid the sweep and got a lot of guys in that lineup that can hurt you. Ty Evans to lead it off and first pitch from J.D. Thompson is a strike to start the day. Payoff pitch to hitter number one. Ball four. Evans on base. So here we go with Caglione coming up. Tyler Bosetti of Nevada shares the record there as well with nine consecutive games with home runs. It's all time in college baseball. Thompson gives him a look and comes to the plate. Hit towards short. Could be two. Vast tied to second. The turn in time. They double up Caglione. Hits one hard to left field. A two out single to keep the inning going for the Gators. Come away with a victory here today. Swing and a miss. Thompson gets him out on a fastball away as Shell Nut fans. You capitalize on that a little bit more. Vastein, soft liner, gets down in right field. Good start for Vanderbilt with a single by Vastein. You know, put some good ABs together and string some runs together. But Florida more so those guys that can just really do some damage one hit at a time. Peel to first. That's been all one around, and Vanderbilt is finished in the first. Payoff number two coming up. Inside for ball four, so Heyman gets a strikeout on a pitch up. Went back to the fastball to fan Curlin for out number one. Thompson gets him swinging. Pitch down and in. Back to back K's after the leadoff walk. Now Thompson sends in the 2 2 pitch. Three consecutive strikeouts. J.D. Thompson, a nice job after a leadoff walk. That one they bring in, but also develop and, and move on to that next level. Sounded like a foul tip as Braden Holcomb has gone on three pitches. Aggressive, but this year he's been aggressive at the right pitches. I feel like in years past he's been a little bit too aggressive. Series against Illinois State before conference play began. Didn't get a whole lot of this one out towards center field. Robertson in a few steps to make the catch, and Vanderbilt's second inning is done. So we begin play here in the third inning with a line drive base hit by Michael Robertson. Two and two. Pulled to first. Austin gets it out there to throw to second. Another double play. Couple strikeouts so far for Caglione. Q shot down the first baseline and a fair ball. Barcy hustling towards second will get there with a leadoff double. Took it right between Heyman, the first baseman, in the bag, and the Commodores have a man in scoring position to begin the third. One of the top two guys that you know put the ball out of the park. That one's going to drop in in front of Robertson. Barzi did the wise thing. He had to hold up on a ball that looked like it was going to hang up and be caught. And now they may have Vastai picked off to throw to second. They get him. Get a little bit smart and said, no, no, thank you. And a nice spot right there on the inside corner. Three ball count to Diaz. A walk will bring up Alan Espinal with runners again at the corners. Ball and two strikes to Espinal. In the dirt, Diaz takes off and will make it without a throw. Already standing there on second base. Espinal down the third baseline will get two runs home. Two out damage for Vanderbilt. Barzi scores, Diaz right behind him. A double for the Commodore catcher. Vanderbilt leads 2-0. You see that even keel approach at the plate. Watch him over a long period of time. Lines this one towards center and a terrific catch by Robertson to end the inning. Would have been a third run for the Commodores. This payoff pitch is hit down the right field line and deep, and that is going to be down and bounce out of play for a double. So Shelton begins the fourth in scoring position. Thompson gets the powerful third baseman for the second time today, swinging a miss for strikeout number five. Definitely going to have to figure that out later here in the season. Another big strikeout for J.D. Thompson. He's been able to make pitches when he's needed to. Liner, right center field. Gators will get on the scoreboard. Curlin goes the other way for an extra base hit. As Shelton comes home to score, the Gators with a big two out knock to make it two to one. Puts the, the exclamation point on the end of a game. And a little jawing with the first base dugout. Kevin O'Sullivan and plate umpire Brandon Cooper. Well, they have some kind of issue with what J.D. Thompson's doing on the mound. Two of the other umpires are over there.
Tyler Simpson and Jason Bradley, the first and second base umps. Now Thompson's coming off the mound. They're looking, you can see there it is right forearm on his glove hand side. They yeah, saw him kind of rub his left hand on his right forearm. Wow. So J.D. Thompson is out of the game. And uh, here's comes Scott Brown. We're going to have another discussion here. Okay, so here's Thompson. Left hand to right forearm, and it looked like he wiped it off on his pants. Or maybe he just tugged at his jersey after he did that. So I guess they yeah. deemed that whatever he was touching on his left arm was not legal. Yeah, he went straight for the back there, or maybe the oblique. Chris Matarazzo, Vanderbilt's athletic trainer, and Tim Corbin. So McIlvain will go out without having thrown a pitch, going through his warm-up tosses. Just a bizarre sequence of events. He misses. That's ball four, and Russell goes to first. Got the head in the count. He checks the runners, and a swing and a miss will retire the side. As Done fans to wrap up the fourth, a very interesting inning. Florida scores a run on two hits with two left. Boy, a pitch upstairs and a fastball. Polk couldn't get to it. Caglione with a strikeout. Payoff with two outs. Caglione and Leneve. Line drive, deep right field. That ball's going to be down and up off the fence. Leneve wins the battle with a two out double. Really having a lot of those pitches working today. The payoff is ball four. The heater misses away. We'll go back to the top for Vastine. Another two out threat for the Commodores. 0 2 pitch is strike three called. Vastine gone on a high 90s fastball. We've seen him some already in this series, and the first pitch hits him. Guth misses for ball four. 0 oh, 2 count with two outs and two aboard. Runner goes. Long drive. Left field. Leneve at the warning track. That one won't stay in the yard. Florida goes in front on a three run bomb by Tyler Shelnut. Wow. And it was an 0 2 pitch as well. Just left up in the zone. And an absolute monster blast to left center field. There's a heck of a swing there for Shelnut. Take a look here. Yeah, I think was supposed to be a little bit outside, ran over the middle of the plate. Miles per hour differential, it's tough to react to. Liner left field and deep to the wall. It's off the fence. Russell couldn't get to that one. Espinal has his second double. And the Commodores aren't done yet here in the fifth. Looking for a two out hit here on a payoff pitch. Liner right center field and deep and that ball is caught. Wow. Fantastic play by Evans. Makes the catch. It goes a even farther way over the over the Jumbotron at Alex Box Stadium. Double and scored a run in the third and a walk in the fourth. And hit by a pitch on the first delivery from Fisher. Ball four to Vastine and we'll see now if Florida Austin hits one up the middle. It is played by Shelton, the short way to the base. It took one pitch for Jamison to retire Austin and leave the bases loaded. Talk again about Leiter in just a moment. Caglione the other way for his first hit of this game. Trying to extend his home run streak to 10 consecutive games. Does have a base hit to keep that streak going. Now up to 18 games with a seventh inning knock. Ginther really for this year has kind of set into that role as well. This one not going to have the distance as Shona pops it up towards short. Fast tide, waits and catches. Get to the finish line. Hit back up the middle. They have a base runner to start the inning. His guy lines a single. Caglione will get the intentional walk. One for four, but that one was a three run homer. Bounced up there. The runners move up 90 feet to second and third. Two outs and two on base. Hammer, gap shot, left field, gonna get in two more. Shelnut has driven in five. And Florida adds two important runs to take a 6-2 advantage. 
Another payoff pitch is ball four. Stays around for a 2-2 pitch. That's strike three. And Florida is finished in the ninth. Only one clean frame. That was the eighth inning. Out on strikes. Fast time to start the ninth. Out towards center field and Guy doesn't have to drift too far to make the play. Two quick outs for Vanderbilt in the ninth inning. One and two, Jamison to Diaz. Florida wins it. Strike three called. Jamison fans Diaz to wrap it up. Gators six, Commodores two. Florida salvages one out of three this weekend series after Vanderbilt took the first two. Jack Haglione's home run streak comes to an end in nine games. Still very impressive.